Hello everyone. Welcome back to another exciting After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this amazing cinematic text reveal in After Effects. Please take a moment to subscribe to this channel. It'll motivate me to make more awesome tutorials. Without further ado, let's dive into the creative process and get started. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. Name it Cinematic Text Reveal. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. 30 frames per second. And set the duration to 5 or 10 seconds. Select the Type tool from the toolbar, then click anywhere on the screen. And type anything you want. Center the anchor point. Then align your text to the center. Right click on the text layer. Then choose Precompose. Rename it to the text comp or anything you like. I am now going to import the required files for this project. And I will share them with you, along with the project file. Drag and drop the dark texture just below the text layer. Keep the texture layer selected, and press S to open scale properties. Reduce the scale slightly. Go to track matte, and choose alpha matte. If you can't find the track matte option, simply click on the toggle switches, mode button. As you can see our texture is too dark. Let's lighten it up. Select the texture image layer. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the curves effect on it. Then slightly change the curve like this. Cool. Now, I am going to add a 3D look to this text. So, go to the projects tab. Drag and drop the text comp just above all layers. Go to effects and presets. Search and apply the fill effect on it. Change the fill color to the black. Again go to effects and presets. Search and apply the bevel and alpha effect on it. Change the direction to negative 240 degrees. Select the text comp layer. And press Ctrl plus D to make it duplicate. Keep the both layers selected. Change the layer mode from normal to add. Let's see the changes. Looks perfect to me. Select all layers. Right click, and choose pre-compose. Name it to the text build, or any name you prefer. Click this toggle switches mod button to reveal more options. Enable the 3D option for the text build layer. Right click on the empty space. Then new, and choose a camera. Click OK. Again right click on the empty space, then new. Select the null object. Also enable the 3D option for the null object. Select the camera layer, then parent it to the null object. Select the null object. Press the P key on the keyboard to open position properties. Go forward to 2 seconds on a timeline. Then add a keyframe with zero value. Then move your time cursor to the first frame. Adjust the Z position incrementally until the text disappears completely. Select both keyframes, and press F9 to apply ease easing to them. Go to the graph editor, select the right side of the graph, and adjust it to something like this. This adjustment will result in a smooth animation. Select the text build layer and enable the Motion Blur option. Go to the Projects tab. Drag and drop the particle footage just below all layers. Let's preview the changes. Cool. It looks good to me. Let me show you how to create the lens flare. Right click on the empty space. Then New, and choose the solid layer, and name it to the lens flare. Drag the solid layer just above all layers. Go to the effects and presets. 
Search and apply the lens flare effect on it. Drag the small circle to move the lens to the top of the screen. Select the lens type to 105mm prime. Again go to the effects and presets. Search and apply the hue and saturation effect on it. Select the color eyes. Adjusting the color eyes hue value will alter the lens colors, and in this case, I'm choosing to go with the orange color. Select the lens layer and press the T key on the keyboard to open opacity properties. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and click this little stopwatch icon to add an expression. Now type, wiggle open parenthesis, 5,15, then close parenthesis. Let's isolate the lens flare and preview it. By applying the wiggle expression, our lens flare will begin to blink, providing a nice visual effect. Choose the lens flare layer, and switch the layer mode from normal to add. Let's see what we have created so far. Now, let's enhance our animation by adding the saber effect to make it appear more professional and visually appealing. Go to the projects tab. Double click on the text comp. Select the text layer and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Go back to the main composition. Press Ctrl plus V to paste the text, hide the text layer, and then create a solid layer with a black color. I am naming it Saber. Go to the effects and presets. Search and apply the Saber effect to it. Let's change some settings. First of all, go to the customized core. Then change the core type to the text layer. Under the text layer, select the cinematic text. Change the glow intensity to 20%. Change the glow spread value to 0.20. Change the core size to 2. Change the start size to 10 or 0%. Move your time cursor to 15 frames. Drag the saber layer just beneath the lens flare layer. Add a keyframe on mask evolution. Again move your time cursor to 4 seconds and 20 frames. Change the mask evolution value to 240 degrees. Select the saber layer, and press the U key to reveal all keyframes. Move your time cursor to 15 frames. Then add a keyframe on start offset. Go forward to 2 seconds and 20 frames. Change the start offset value to 30%. Also, add a keyframe on the end offset at the same frame. Change the value to 0%. Move your time cursor to 4 seconds and 20 frames. Then change the end offset value back to 30%. Finally, change the saber layer mode from normal to add. Let's see what we've created so far. Cool. It looks amazing to me. Select the saber layer, click on the toggle switches, mode button to reveal additional options. Enable the 3D option for the saber layer. Additionally, change the saber color to orange or any other color of your preference. Let's preview the changes. Perfect. I'm satisfied with the result. Select the saber layer. And press U to reveal all keyframes. Select all keyframes and easy ease them by pressing the F9 key on the keyboard. Go to the Projects tab, and then move the time cursor to the point where our text has completely appeared. 
drag and drop the lens image into the composition. Decrease the scale to 65%. Change the layer mode from normal to add. Finally, position the image just below the text layer, as demonstrated. Shift the lens image to the starting point of our text. Then press the square bracket key to move the layer to 2 seconds and 20 frames. Press T to open opacity properties. Add a keyframe and change the opacity value to 0%. Move forward to 5 frames. Change the opacity to 100%. Move forward to 4 seconds and 15 frames. Then click this little dot to add a keyframe. Again go forward to 5 frames. Then change the opacity value back to 0%. Move your time cursor at the beginning of the lens layer, and press P to open position properties. Add a keyframe. Move forward to 4 seconds, and 20 frames. Then drag the image to change its position to something like this. Let's see the final output. Outstanding. This is precisely what I had in mind. Our cinematic text reveal is ready. I am just showing you the technique but you can create a better animation than this. This is 100% editable you can easily change your text. I hope you find this video helpful. Hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Your feedback means the world to me. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time. Stay creative.